Blessing, shalom fam. Uh, this is Crystal from God's Kingdom Counselor. Coming to you for a quick little word. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I feel like I sound weird. Um, I felt great, but this, this morning I just felt like my nose is like stuffy and stuff. Um, I did do like a, just came out of a fast yesterday. I broke it. I think I did like three days, but I dry fasted for, for almost 36 hours. So to me, one uh, 24 hour dry fast is equal to three day water. So a total would be like five days. But I did eat some healthy, but I also eat some bad food. So maybe that's just counteracting with my body. But could do another fast again today. You're just going to keep on doing it. But if I fall, keep getting on that wheel. Anyway, so um, it's just a quick little word that I have for you. Sorry if I'm under a blanket, a little cold in the house. They don't have any heat on and it's cold in here. Um, so I'm just going to get with it. So God will use uh, people that we know that are close to us. And he will also use things that we are familiar with. So in this case, he used that um, in regards to my dream. The dream that I had was on May 21st of 2022. And the dream is Jeremy traveling on a train. His head was sticking out of the top. And it was kind of funny because the train was like moving like all swiftly. And his head was like popping out. <laughs> You know, you kind of look like a cartoon character. You're just smiling. But his head was outside, the, out of the top of the train while the train was moving. And he, he was traveling saying that he was going to Canada now. I'm Canadian, so God used that as a familiar place for me because so I would know the destination. So the Lord got me to look up the name Jeremy and it means God will uplift or God will unloosen. Appointed by God and or word yeah, Miria, I can't say that word Hebrew, which means Yahweh has established. So the train um, represents um, things are new, rapid speed, new opportunities, new goals in your life. Could be your ministry, uh, things that God has for you. Um, and then it obviously from sticking out from the point of on top of the train, looking at something at from things from a clear view as God will show you and reveal things ahead of time before he puts you in in places and then just showing you that Canada for me is just showing like as in a destination place moving to new heights um, so God will up, uplift you and establish you all that the plans that he has for you that train was moving quickly and swiftly like things are just going to happen so fast that you won't even know what's going to happen it will catch you off guard and it was just it was moving at a rapid speed and that's what the lord was showing me um so we are to stay on our track of your destiny and everything that he has called you to do um seek him and everything um your breakthrough is almost here just stay close to him, have faith, um, and just be patient. Don't rush anything. God's timing is always perfect. His ways are not our ways and our thoughts, his thoughts are not our thoughts. So he, he knows what he is doing. God will lead you in your path and make your crooked path straight. Don't be afraid of tomorrow. Walk by faith and not by sight. Hearken diligently unto the Lord, and he will lead you into all righteousness and all that he has for you. Keep moving forward. Trust him. And again, test the spirit in everything that you do. Um, even when doors do open, um, just seek the Lord on it. Because, you know, Satan could come in if it's too quickly, too swiftly, and you don't have time and your heart starts beating. It That's not of the Lord. That is of the enemy because God is um, patient. It's things that are so humble. So Satan can also have a plan to also try to derail you. But God has his. So you you need to discern and pray before things happen. Especially if it becomes like a big blessing. And that's what I've learned also. Just stay still. Remember what God says. If you need to fast. If you're not hearing from him. Fast for a bit. Until you accept that. If, it like, if, if it's like a job offer. Or big finances. Or whatever that comes your way. Just uh, seek him. That wasn't in my notes. So I know that was the Holy Spirit leading me to say that so um yeah uh again god's lead be here to be uh, i can't even talk god's lead to be here soon i'll be here again um i hope you guys are all doing well 
And yeah, so shalom, okay? Bye, guys.